What is up, peeps? Burn here. Got a little ongoing fortification event. Uh, I'm doing all right. I almost have enough for a super speed up pack. Got about 5,000 rubies. It has not been easy. The last fortification event uh, went much better for me. I am um, sitting in sixth place right now. My teammate contributions, I've just jumped up a couple places. I'm in third, got 369k. Don't know if I'm going to make it to the next. I think I've done 17. Um, to the next achievement, I got 119k to go. Get some more rubies. So I'm going to get close to getting that super speed up pack. If you look back at the videos, uh, you'll see that I had literally zero rubies when I started this event and so 80 100 100 125 blah 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 up to 5,000 so you know events are really the best way to farm rubies I I do need to build I didn't want I did not want this event where is the feeding event where's the friggin training event enough already people um, this is like the second, uh, fortification event in a row, and not that I want to train a bunch of dragons, but, um, I have a few that I leave at level one, and I have stacked just a ton of XP on, like, uh, like Septus. Let's see. Dragon is literally useless to me. I have... Kind of an OCD where I need to get my dragons at, um, at expert, so stacked a million XP on it. I'm going to use that dragon specifically for the feeding event to get ahead on points. You know, I got a few like that, so Elixis, also sort of not really a benefit to me. It's epic, and if it's anything like Naga, I'm going to hate every minute of it, so about 500 Anyway, back to fortification. So, I was not on. I was babysitting. And, um, I was not able to get on when the event started. And that is literally the best time to, to just use all your wood, refill it up, use it all again, refill it up, use it all again. Rinse, repeat that as many times, stay up all night, get some energy drinks, whatever you gotta do. Uh, and save your wood packs. I'm, I had a couple 26k. I had like five of them. I've been having to use them because it is just slim pickings. Slim pickings. 7k. Like at least we're almost at the 10k range. It's 87. Probably will not let me get it. Um, you know, and it just takes forever to to reload. And just more slim pickings. It's and it's only going to get worse. We're literally the second day into the event, and it's just going to get more and more cutthroat. So, you know, the best thing you can do is be on as soon as that event starts. Blast all your wood. Get more wood. Refill it. Save all your, you know, towers and whatnot that uh, can use shards and embers so these three here great way to little cheat the system once a uh, wood is running scarce um, start to upgrade them so like this one's gonna take me 150 K to get to the next level but um, it was at level 9 if you look back when I did a defend video I brought it up 10 levels and every other level I'm gonna use elemental um, the elemental embers so elemental embers are also going to add extra points that's going to be mu they're going to be worth much more than the wood if you go over to the details so upgrade your base you will earn points whenever you spend wood food fire turret fragments ice turret fragments elemental embers to upgrade 10 wood spent is worth one point and moving down you've got uh, frags and embers are worth 20 points so much more bang for your buck um, also keep an eye out, so this is a uh, limited time, three time production on wood, so, you know, it's 
Nice. Cooking up. Nice. Oh, I got to spend some of that actually real quick before somebody. They'll just. Man, I got a dude. I literally got this dude. And uh, he just comes and attacks me all the time. So I sent him a message. I was like, I missed you. And he hits me back, you know, and smiley faces. He's always like, he's watching me. This dude watches me to see when I, um, to see when I'm, you know, full on resources. And so you got to literally, you get it, you spend it. And it's gone. And I had started this event with somewhere around 112 hours and getting down pretty low. But so, you know, once you've used wood, that's when you're going to start to use the other resources. Another one to do is um, your lumber mills. I can't upgrade it right now, but they take food to upgrade. So you can use food, elemental embers, fire shards, ice shards. And again, can't really upgrade these. I'm going to need 57. That's actually doable. This one is 150. It's going to be really tough. This is nothing like the last event. The last event, <clears throat> I started right when the bell rang, and I blasted this baby up. Like, literally, I could only, at the time, my storage could only hold the 259 or something. And so I got it up to 22, which was the highest my storage could go. But then the, the fire shards let me get it up to 23. So a nice way to go over my level, because I used fire shards. And I got a huge amount. I think it was like 1,000 or 1,200 fire shards to get it to that level and just a huge amount of points um so i just kind of want to show you how difficult it is you know as the event drags on i'm gonna hit this guy and uh, see if i can get some some hood and i mean it's, we're talking about 8k and it's Usually just a lot of defenders going on. People are really protective about their wood. 8,000 wood. It's 8,000 wood. Leave me alone. I just want your wood, dude. That sounds weird. I, I, I said it, and now I kind of regret it. And I'm going to get blasted by this thing. Dang. Fire. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe I'm going to have to use two... Possibly three dragons for 8,000 wood. What? Oh, it's events are just terrible. Uh, but it's war dragons. What can we do? Gonna get that chest, baby. I knew it was in there. I, I knew it. It's in there. What do you got? I'm gonna use half a bubble here. Try to get down that fire. No, you got me. <laughs> You're just getting ruined here. Come on. Oh, I got a bubble. Get it last to the next island. Don't even think about repairing. Get away from me. Let's see if I can get just a little bit further. I usually say if you get past that part, you are good to go. I may be wrong. Oh my goodness, live! Live, burn, live! Take out that farm. <laughs> this is awful. This is so awful. Watch this sweetness. Get a bubble. Oh, and there's a red mage. Oh, that was so dumb. Thought I was slick shooting over the red, but there was another red. Just waiting for me. Hammerox is going to finish this guy off. But, uh, man. It is. It is a war zone out here from wood. Watch this. If, if this is his base, he probably left. <clears throat> and he's sending it to his friends to bounce it back to him. That's a nice little slick move you can do is have a higher level player that's on. Send it to him, have him bounce it right back to you. you if he has some wood, it, it can happen in 20 minutes, otherwise you got to wait 40 minutes. But if you're out there grinding, you know, it just keeps it protected because it's in the cloud. <laughs> it's in the cloud. And uh, I just kind of wanted to make a little video, talk about the event, how difficult it can be, but how uh, beneficial it could be. I'm up to 5,000 rubies during this event. So it's, you know, if you can do that during one event, if you can get really close to a super speed up pack and get all those delicious treats that come in there, or, 
you know, I usually don't use um, gold chests. I do like to buy them. And, um, but I won't do it so much for this event. Uh, always get that open 10 for 4K, because if you take 800 and I uh, times that by 10, we're talking about 8,000, so it's literally half the price. Um, so save up those rubies, buy 10 gold chests during a battle event, get really far ahead. Um, but you know what, for you guys, I'm going to buy one, just to see what's going on. Lumber pack, awesome sauce. And uh, like normally you'd get that and you'd be like, whatever. They'd sort of be offended. But right now, I need it more than ever. So oh, it's not going to be enough. And uh, it's funny now. So let me do one more run. Let's see if I can bang out that other lightning turret while I got you with me. Come on, baby. Give me that goods. Give me those goods. You see those 17, 33, you're like, oh my god, I want it. Ah. But uh, I don't really have the high players on right now to help me take it, unfortunately. And this loading is just going to be the end of me. I might be able to take that 76. But again, there's going to be some defenders. Let's go for it. I always say, go high or go home. Don't I? 494k. There's no blue on that big, in the back of the big. So I'm going to do a little old school rocking. I'm not going to invite my friends. I should, because that actually make the resources better. But I want to sort of show you guys a little bit of the old school way I used to use hunters. I'm going to sort of go over here. Cloak that. Yeah, baby. Cloak that. You know, take out the blue. Cloak that fire. Just going to sail over. Right when I get over the top. Can't touch me. Don't want to go too much for the boats because I need... I need my bursts. I'm going to invert here. Come out of cloak. Take out those with minimal damage. Now, there's going to be a blue as I make the turn. I'm going to take it out, and then I'm going to sail over the rest. Don't like lightning. I don't have my uh, don't have my lightning resist yet. It's uh, my next level up. And I'm going to come out right after this lightning with an invert. Just take out three towers. Sweet deal. When I talk about hunters, how much I love them. I prefer to use my hunters as a um, you know as a one dragon, but uh, this was not good. Whatever, I got someone could have come up and clean it up anyway. So. But uh, the utility, like if you can use a hunter like this, just kind of sneaky, um, you know, just put down some damage. And um, take out as much as you can. Come in and clean it all up. And it's really a, if this was war or whatever, and um, just real easy for someone to just breeze on through after you've taken out all those big threats. You know, got, uh, ice is going to be, a, it's going to hit me for a little bit. Not really. Got, got too early. I got rid of the fire. I got rid of all the mages. Or maybe they, I think there's one red. Kind of hanging. But uh, that is how to do it. That's how you do it with a hunter. That's why I love hunters. Because if they're not just fully beast, you can... Uh, just the utility that you get. Man, that would good hurt if I didn't have this explosive shield, huh? My goodness. I like this move here. I'm going to pop my explosive shield early. And just in time to blow it all up. Sorry. It's a great way um, if you see a blue in the back. And you can you know, hit it early and get the explosive explosion to go off <clears throat> before you come into range of the blue and uh, 
So it's a little sneaky way you can use it when you're near a blue tower or, or just if you want to use it twice. Let's say it's really nasty stuff on that base, on that island. Let's see. We got 9k. What happened? Did I get attacked? No, <laughs> he did hit me earlier. I still don't... Oh, 20k, yes. I think we're looking good. It's so terrifying when it doesn't update. I need... Goodness gracious. Ugh. This is so awful. So awful. I literally need just such a little bit to, to finish. This is terrifying. I, for me, I kind of hope... 475k. I, I, I need something easy. So I want to get, ugh, I don't want to use a heal pot for nine minutes. I've seen who's not ready for battle. Let's do it with some nice shape business. <clears throat> Try to just annihilate this for you, kind of. See if I can give you a show. But it's so terrifying. I, I kind of hope, just for the sake of this video, that I get attacked. And I lose all that wood. Now that sounds like, why would you, who wants that? But, um... I'm going to show you how nasty it can be. How cut the... I like to cloak whenever they, uh... Ooh, there we go. <laughs> whenever they... <laughs> I didn't see the blue. <laughs> whenever they use a storm because, uh... Just wait it out. Lightning is always my issue. So I get my lightning resist. First up. Love it. Gonna take advantage of that farm being there. Thank you. Little having a farm there is like me having extra attack power. Just cheating. Sort of. Looking pretty good. Pretty good. Love these. They're all just projectiles. Man. Just did, I just hit a lot of buttons there. I don't know. You guys want to watch that again. But I hit so many buttons. It was like cloaked. And then I uh, came out with an invert. And just lots of buttons. I love my hunters. There's so much to do. When you get them up real high level, they're just so OP. And, and the spells that they come out with, like uh, Steel Essence and, and Invert, just so dynamic. Like There's so many awesome things that you can do. Awesome. We got my Lightning Tower done. But that is how stressful, how hard, and how fast you've got to go. Because... Let's sit here. Let's sit here for 60 seconds. Then we're going to call it. But let's see if somebody is like, oh my goodness, this guy's got 50k wood. I have a feeling that you're going to see a little uh, defend yourself right there. Um, only other thing you can do is when you get in close, you get real close to, um, you know, know sort of the range of um, wood that you need so that if you do get attacked you can use some of it right away like if I go to my storage I have just a ton of stuff in storage and um, what am I doing want my wind totem there I want to put you back put you back uh, you know I have done all the, uh, the clearing but I don't put stuff on my islands. I like to build in the back just in case it gets left out. I can't take advantage of that. Um, but if you look at my storage, I've got a bunch of stuff. This 19 fire, I just got it up. It's coming out very soon. Um, you know, level 9s, level 18s, level 15s. So I build a whole slew of towers. And I keep them in storage. And that's so that 
when I do want to progress, when I do want to go to the next island, whether it be here or if I go backwards and rearrange everything, my I, my towers are going to be ready to go. If you build one at a time and you have that empty spot, you know, it kind of can cost you. Like one of the things it says, I, I say this before, I don't always agree with all the the little tips that it gives you at the beginning of the game. It's like one more tower could make all the difference. It's actually not the case because if, if one more tower is one tower by itself, that is that is the the opposite of all the difference. Anyway, uh, so it looks like I didn't get attacked, but uh, I feel your pain. I know how stressful these events can be, um, but with just a little careful thought, maybe a little teamwork. And um, oh, what I was saying is, you know, right, you know, you know, a bunch of different towers, um, how much they're going to cost, so that if you had to spend it right away, spend it. Or if you had to ship it off to a friend, you know, have him bounce it back. And even, yay, look at that. Um, with that little tower. <laughs> awesome. And if, uh, you know, you have some friends online, just be like, hey, guys, I'm really close. Please just hang back and keep an eye and protect my hood. And, you know, any little thing you can can really make the difference. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.